And off we go. Oh, that is a lot. Noob. What up, guys? Six foot four. Uh -huh. And uh, if you like my videos, if you like the content with me, Tina, everybody, what's up? Um, give us a nice thumbs up. Now I feel stupid for talking to myself. I'm trying to scratch my eye. I'm trying to see what the cleanest finger is so I can scratch my eye. I think it might be, it might be the pinky. So yeah, if you enjoy the videos, give us a nice thumbs up. And um, right now I'm going to the doctor's appointment. I got an allergy appointment because my allergies have been so bad this past year that um, like I can't sleep at night without using sprays and shit. And um, literally, I suffocate at night if I don't like spray my my nose because um. Uh, my nose, both of my, my nostrils get clogged up to the point where like 0% of air goes through and it really it, it even affects my throat to where I feel like my throat gets swollen and stuff like that so anyways we're going to the allergy appointment there we got to do a bunch of other stuff I got to go pick up my Mother's Day gift from square one a bottle of necklace and I got to get a prescription for um, for myself because uh, some other stuff and that's that so that's what we're doing the bike stuff, <clears throat> um, everybody keeps asking, where's the new bike, where's the new bike, where's the new bike? Hey, listen, if the new bike was here, you guys would see it, trust me. Um, I gotta deal with insurance first, I gotta deal with, um, I really wanna reveal it before I even make a video vlogging on it, so that, that obviously makes sense. Um, it will come guys, I'm planning on maybe today tripping it down to the dealership to check it out. But I can tell you this, the, the guy that sold me the bike, his name is Jeff, he texted me the VIN number and it's the third bike ever made of that kind. So that's pretty freaking awesome. Hell to the motherfucking yeah! Funny because when you're not on your bike for, for quite a bit, the sound of your bike sounds 10 times the sexiness of what it actually is. And I swear I'm hearing things I'm not supposed to be hearing or that don't exist. Like it's like... It's almost like backfiring. I can hear like little crackle, crackles. Stutter, stutter. The thing is, I don't know how I'm gonna carry the prescription. I'll probably stuff in my back, but I don't know how I'm gonna carry my mom's necklace because it's gonna come in like a big fancy bag. I'm assuming. So that's gonna be uh, weird, and I don't want to lose like an expensive necklace. You know, I'm starting to finally get the hang of things again, and I'm starting to edit bike life, bet it more and more, bet it bike life and edit, bet it. I'm starting to edit more and more videos. Um, not only for this, but I started doing little gaming videos on Six Foot Gaming. I started doing my life vlogs all over again, uh, more consistently and stuff like that. So you guys can can watch my life. Ugh, God damn it! Fuck these things. Um, a little, you know, more consistently and stuff like that. So that's pretty damn cool, baby. Shit, my doctor's appointment or my allergy appointment was literally three minutes ago. Mmm, goddamn. Mmm, okay. I can't even turn it into here. It's right there. The hell is... He's trying to turn on... I don't understand. Right here, baby! Let's get yourself checked out. Allergy-wise, not, you know, invasion of my body. I'm wearing my back to fuck up shirt. I hope nobody gets offended in the mall or in here. Okay. Oh my god. What the fuck, yo? I was gonna say, where the hell is my bike? Because I didn't see it over there. But this guy parked like a geek. Uh, so I got back my allergy medication or my allergy testing. You can see it's really swollen here, really swollen here. There's a few there. Um, birch tree, pollen, dust mites, a bunch of weeds and stuff like that. I'm just sick and tired of having to fucking ruin my nose with all these sprays that I use. Because um, I've been using the Claritin spray for like about eight months now. Every day and it's definitely not good for you. Um, and it got to the point where I, had, I started getting nosebleeds. Hey kiddo. Damn, man, my right hand is so itchy right now because of the testing. 
they pretty much if you never have if you if you never had an allergy test, they stab you with needles, like twenty of them, and then each needle has its own like thing you could be allergic to, and then whichever your skin reacts to is what you're allergic to, right? Oh, my right hand is so itchy. So now where we gotta go is Rexall to get my prescription. I can get this prescription too, I guess, and then I gotta go to square one to get my mom the necklace. And we can go from there, baby. Your trunk is open. There's a reason for that shit. Never mind. No hands, baby. Let's go. The skirt. I can't tell if she's trying to say something or not. <laughs> she gave me a thumbs up for my shirt. It sucks. You probably you guys you guys could probably couldn't catch it, right? Cause uh, she, like the camera's on the other side. But she did give me what the hell just hit me in the fucking chest. That was weird. Um, she did give me a thumbs up for my shirt, which is awesome. If you guys aren't repping the back the fuck up movement, I suggest you do that shit. You can buy that shit here, 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 and there. And um, link is in the description if you want to buy that shit. Uh, if you buy it and send me a picture and stuff like that, I think there's different colors of tank tops and shit like that now. Um, 644 at gmail.com. Send me that picture, I'll post it in a video and all that cool shit. You know what I'm talking about? See, I, this is not the same homeless guy, but there's a homeless guy that was over there in one of my videos. I parked over here at the dealership, went across the street to this median right there where the truck is, and I gave him, um, Giving dog food for his dog and stuff like that. I don't. I haven't seen him in a while, so I'm, I'm curious where the dog is and where the owner is. The dog and shit. And we do have keychains as well. Um, I had to refill. By the time you see this video, it's probably refilled. Um, all the keychains are back. Bike life over everything. All the other ones. That's that's one of them right here. And um, the back the fuck up hats. If this video is uploaded after May, so if it's June right now. Oh my God! Summer started and it's almost over. Goddamn. Um, and then um, the back the fuck up hats are back right now it's on pre-order it's like the beginning of May so depending on where I put this video up when I put this video up uh, Meridian says the year cool then the back the fuck up hats should be back you can still order it on 6400.com but it would be a pre-order until I get them shipped into my 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 my, my fucking warehouse aka basement alright I got one thumbs up for my shirt I feel so fucking cool right now oh my god, Dubai, not Dubai. I think he spelled Dubai wrong, buddy. Wow, you Dubai asshole, man. What the hell? Dude, he just like fucking like pushed the. <laughs> Get the kid. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You were next in line, right? Okay. The older lady was next in line, and the guy just butt in. I wanted to help her, but she said it's okay, so I kind of just left it alone. The necklace is definitely not fitting there, so I'm gonna have to bring in, bring the backpack. I'm gonna drop this off at home and bring the backpack. Anyway, so we got our, got, we got our medication. Poor grandma. I wanted to help her because she was first in line. She was just like, she was older, so she kind of sat down and waited for me to finish. And the guy just, just kind of jumped in. Oh well. What's up, kid? That's okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I see the weirdest shit sometimes. See, the guy pulled out. Don't bitch and complain. Sometimes people just pull out because they don't see, and then when they see you, they stop. He gave me the sorry. I said, it's okay, bro. You you get your moments where you're just like, fuck you, but not every day. Hi, Storm. Oh, my goodness. Such a big boy. Such a big boy. Go get it. Go get it. What's that? Those are shirts. If you guys want to see Storm's growth, you can also go to my Six Foot Life channel. It's there. What's here, Storm? What's in there? Oh, hold on. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. Hold on, Storm. Hey, Storm, sit down. Hey, Storm. 
Storm, sit down. Sit down. Stay. 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 Might give one of these away. These are really, really, really rare. I've never even sold these before. Um, only like two or three people actually had a chance to get one. Um, anyways, this is for, for Hanna. Much love, much respect. It's made by a subscriber from Poland. And I actually sent her three of those designs. Three of those shirts. Because, um, because she made the design. There's a pink one. I already got a pink one for Tina. What the fuck? Oh, I paid twice, I guess. Oh, well. Thank you guys for uh, watching. Um, because I am not finishing the video. What am I talking about? The one thing that I hate is cars like that. Who you would turn on red lights. And think it's, it's A-OK. -okay. I mean, if it's a red light, it's a red light. In my opinion, you shouldn't be U-turning. And just because you put your signal on doesn't mean you can do it, you know? It doesn't make it right. <laughs> a lot of people put their signals on and do, like, you know, stuff they shouldn't be doing. And they feel it's okay because they put the signal on. The downshift. Oh! Check out the effect of my shirt. Look how far. Oh, hell no, you're not. There you go. Stop. You know what? I don't know. Tina rubbed off on me, and um, no pun intended. And now I keep forgetting to, to turn my turn signals off. It's it's really weird. I always remember, and now I don't. The number one thing that I have issues with is like when I don't shave my beard, and like the beard that I get is literally like nothing, but it's still there, and it itches so much. Let me know if you have this issue. It itches so much because it hits my helmet, and it just rubs when I talk, and it's just really so so annoying. And um, shout out to Flame Sword. If you haven't watched Flame Sword, he's not only about bike life, but he's about bike life. So if you haven't checked him out, his link will be in the description. Check him out. If you go to his channel, go to his like next video or whatever, and tell him six foot four Honda sent me. Hashtag Team Six, baby. And um, let him know where you came from. Show him some love. Um, he's got a. <coughs> I believe he has a CBR as well. I'm not too sure. I remember it being red. I think it's a CBR. I saw it on Tom's vlog of when he when he put that thing in the ditch. Um, anyways, go show him some love. And I wonder because his beard is fucking like the size of my my height. I wonder if it bugs him when he rides with his helmet on. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I guess um shit. I don't know. Oh boy, I think they recognize a six foot life. Why? Because I look back and they're like, yo, what up, boy? I notice a lot of younger kids watch my stuff, like high school and like before high school. So every time I'm like, I'm in a group of like, or I see a group of kids, I always try to like, see if anyone, I probably feel it. I probably look like a creep just like checking out fucking high school kids. Tunnel, yeah. I can't get to my chin. It's so itchy. Hell yeah, man! Shout out to you, buddy. And your friends. Hell yeah. I'm gonna name you Bob. Shout out to Bob. Bob is awesome. Why'd he wave? Maybe that was another subscriber. I don't know. When people wave, I don't understand if they wave because it's, it's a fucking bike and I'm awesome or if they watch my videos and I'm awesome. Um, I've also recently, not recently, but I've been taking Storm and Sydney, Tina's dog. We both have went and took our dogs to the dog park to get them used to each other. We found that a lot easier to do than putting them in a house or whatever together. So, with that being said, if you guys really want to see that shit, Six Foot Life is the spot to see it. Uh, I haven't posted it yet as of uh, as I am recording this, but as of the same day, I mean. But um, I'll be putting it up soon, I think. So if you guys want to see some dog park action, hit it up, dog. Hit it up. The first time they interacted together at a dog park, uh, they did really, really good. Sydney did amazing. Too bad I didn't get it on camera. What the fuck? I swear, people find their own parking spots. Like they'll park on the street if they have to. So these two buildings are called the Ma uh, Ma Marilyn Monroe Towers. People say they look like crushed pop cans. I read in an article, a guy from Argentina, a businessman, got the penthouse up top worth 
four or five million dollars with 4,000 square feet. It has its own gym, everything, pool and shit like that. And the guy only bought it because he thought it was moving here um, to stay. So he bought it to live in it. Turns out he's not moving here and he's staying in Argentina or Argentia or Argentina. Or, I don't, I'm confusing myself because I'm saying the name too much. You know when you say the name too much, it starts sounding weird so it sounds wrong. Anyways, maybe I'm just crazy. Um, but he got it now he's not moving in. And they're saying the most expensive um, building or apartment or condo or whatever in Toronto, I think it's like four or five million. But if this type of building was in downtown Toronto, it would cost eight million dollars. Let that sink in. So square one is down there. I did not bring a bag, so we're either gonna lose an expensive necklace or we're gonna find a way to put it in the trunk. But I do know one thing, bike life. And it's funny cause um, I was getting my tuxedo and everything for the wedding and all the, all the guys at the party, the wedding party, the main table. We got our dr uh, dresses, yo, well, I swear we didn't get dresses. We got our suits, our tuxedos fitted here. After everything, he, um, this guy that works there, he saw my shirt under my sweater was popping out and he saw the logo. And he's like, are you six foot? And I'm like, hell motherfucking yeah. So we got little props going and that's fucking awesome. So if you're watching this and uh, you work there, shout out to you, my friend. Next time, give me a fucking discount. Whoop. <laughs> Got him! I almost fucking fell and made him a fucking ass of myself. The necklace is gonna have to fit into there. Which is dirty as fuck. Okay, I didn't think this through. This is gonna be dirty and it's supposed to be a present. I know you like, you like my shit. I know you like, you like my shit. I know you like, so like my shit. This is a PS Records production.